introduce yourself, you know, say your name and maybe a little bit of your background. Uh, yeah, my name is Shay Amade, um, you know, uh, from the DFW area, um, to started my master's two and a half months after I got my bachelor's. So that's quite, that was quite the, quite the turnaround. Um, yeah. uh, no, very laid back, calm, cool, collected guy. Just want to be great in, you know, in the field that I, that I chose also with the field that I chose allowed me to be more versatile and diverse in that working in that uh, professional setting. So that obviously helped went into my decision. Um, overall, just, you know, working every day to become a better version of myself and, you know, building good habits toward, uh, achievements and end goals. So, and what do you mean specifically when you say to be, uh, more diverse in your working and in terms of the degree that I got, you know, IT management, uh, you know, it's a business side of, of IT management and I mean, it's, it's a business side of IT and it's just the technical side of IT. So I could have did a, a BS, you have bachelor's of science in IT, which would have been the technical side, but I did an MBA, which was the business side because the MBA actually gives you more options. So that's the big thing right now. Like now just really trying to zone in on getting cybersecurity certification. Um, I mean, I've gotten, gotten, uh, really good job offers, but you know, I don't have any experience, but not really tripping too hard off that because once I get the cybersecurity certification, I feel like that'll put me in a class of my own because I'll have IT masters on top of the cybersecurity certification. So I know I'm being in the right ballpark. Now it'll be about finding which job fits me and what works the best. Yeah. So what uh, was your bachelor's in? Uh, management information systems, which is really the bachelor's version of IT management. Okay, cool. So you kind of, uh, IT, uh, management the whole way. I took a lot of the same classes I took. Uh, so my bachelor's, I completed it in nine months. It's supposed to take a year to complete that master's. Oh yeah. So you, you transferred in, you're saying, did you transfer it, pre-transfer in like three years of credit? Oh no, no, no. I didn't transfer in. This was like, I just, I just knew, I just knew cause, um, but that should have taken you like four years. Right. And you did it in a year. You did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, mom, see, cause in the, in the master's program, they give you a set number of classes. So I had 11 classes to complete, but I'm saying some of the classes that they told me to complete, I had already taken an undergrad. So the background knowledge I had an undergrad, I just used it to hurry up and do some of the classes I had. Like I had financial management, accounting, marketing, managing human capital. Those were five of the, five of the classes that, that were in my master's program that I had already taken undergrad that kind of allowed me to speed up the process. Just to kind of confirm like the, the date. So the, how long did it take you to get the actual masters? It took me nine months and seven days. Were you also getting your, I think you also getting your bachelor's from WGU? No, no. I got my bachelor's from a, a school I went to in Texarkana. So you kind of just did that, uh, that first one, like in a traditional way. And then went to WGU yeah, yeah, for your second. Yeah. For my second uh, degree. But you had some overlap with it past degree in classes so you're able to yeah right? did exactly. they give you credit for that or did you just have to fly through it yourself no no no. they didn't give me credit for that or anything i just i just knew i just, had just to knew it. All this. what did you hope to improve uh, with your personal life with a degree what was kind of the motivation for going back to school getting your master's i won't even really even say going back to school because i already knew i was going to get my master's oh yeah you're saying like, it was just too much as a Two and a half months. Break. Yeah. 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 So it's like, it's really like a summer break. It was more like a goal of mine to get my master's. Like I, I, I was like locked in cause I knew I wanted to get my master's, my master's in IT because I know like, you know, of course I have a passion for IT, but you know, I know my earning power would increase and then same yeah. thing with cyber security, my earning power is going to increase. So I knew, I knew at the back of my mind, it's something not only that I want to do, kind of something I, ha I have to do. So how did you find out about WGU? Uh, my dad told me about it. Yeah. Same for me. My father told me about it and that's, that's why I went, yeah, he, he got his bachelor's and his master's from WGU. And what was the kind of the difficult parts for WGU and the easy parts or kind of the pros and cons for of it? I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. I don't do, I can't even really say there are any difficult parts because the teachers were so nice. 
They were so patient and so nice. I can't even really say there are any difficult parts. It's so the good outweighed the bad. Like it wasn't even no bad. It was so everything was just like my getting my masters was so easier than getting my bachelor's just because of the the because the invite the teachers were so patient and so supportive and were willing to help you from my academic advisor to my program mentor to the teachers like everybody was like they're so hands-on and this and it's crazy to think they're helping you this much over the phone and i was going to i was going to class and i wasn't receiving this much help when i was an undergrad oh, wow. and it was crazy like the support the everything man so i can't say it was any cause everything for me this was it was probably the i mean look at it was challenging but they made it so easy to get through because they were so hands-on and willing to help yeah i've had a lot of great experience with course instructors as well i remember with the bachelor's the english teacher um she was really helping me with that she would like point out like individual errors and she'd give me very detailed instructions on how to like fix fix each each issue yeah it's amazing like i did not I, just how patient they are and how, how much one they're how much they're willing to help you like so there's a lot about the culture that they built there yeah my my mentor is also he's very, he's very helpful he's very supportive of me going quickly i thought they might not like me accelerating my mentor is very supportive of that and my mentor actually uh, got me the job i'm working now he recommended me to another student yeah uh, yeah you're a cyber security major correct yeah i got a uh, bachelor's in cyber security and information assurance no, yeah. So, how what's what's information insurance about? It's just a fancy way to say cybersecurity again. Was it tough, like cybersecurity classes? Yeah, to be completely honest, it was quite difficult um, for some of that stuff. Uh, it took me a year and a half. Like I'm 19 now, I had like no work experience before that. Mm, so you do you do a lot of coding in the cybersecurity classes? Actually, no, not a lot of coding. I've learned I've been learning code since I was like 13, so I had coding coding background. I, the only actual like code I wrote was like a SQL code for one class. Mm. So, oh, that's good. So your job is uh not to get in your business, but your job is like just paying you well, stuff like that, right? Yeah, I'm currently working like a IT support job. Um, it's not actually pay doesn't pay a whole lot, but it's kind of the first job is an internship, and it's a pretty chill work environment. So, oh yeah, for I, sure. I had it during college, so it allowed me to go through college and work at the same time. Who do you think WG would be best for? Or do you think there's any cases which you wouldn't recommend someone going to WG? Well, I think WGU is best for people that are self-sufficient, can hold themselves accountable, and want to go at their own pace. Those are the people I should I recommend WGU for. If you're a hands-on learner that needs to see the teacher, it's not for you. Yeah. And if, okay. if, you, have, if you have accountability issues, it's not for you. If you can't, if you, if you don't have some level of independability or, dep or if you, if you don't have, if you have some level, if you have trouble being independent, it is not for you. So it's for, it's not for everybody. You know, everybody got their select way, you know, but if, like for me, like I hate standing class, but yeah. you know, if I have to do it, I can do it and pass. But if I had a choice to learn, I'd rather do the online. Is that what okay. kind of why you move to WGU as opposed to just getting your master's at your yeah, you, college? I, mean, I, I didn't even know it was a, I mean, when my dad told me it was online, I was kind of nervous about it because I didn't know how hard the class were going to be. But yeah. like once I like, but I was like, man, I'm not really tripping because like, you know, I've done online classes before. Like it's not, I mean, of course it's going to be at the master's level. It's going to be a little bit harder. Like it ain't none that, I, that, I'm, that I'm not used to. Was it like with COVID? How did you have experience with online classes before? I started out with my second year, my sophomore year at a community college. My first year, I did all in person. Uh, my second year, fall semester, I did some classes online, some classes in person. So I just wanted to get a little bit. And then my, my yeah. the, the spring of my sophomore year, which was 2019, uh, spring semester, I did all online classes. And then... Um, once COVID started, that's when I really started to really tap into the being being online, and that's when I really learned to like enjoy it. I'm like, man, this is not even that bad. I can get used to this. What do you think really got you into IT, and why you chose? Why did you Why do you choose to work this or go f to, for this type of career? I always like, and when I was in my senior year, I always like my goal 
was always to like, I was like, I want to work in Silicon Valley. That was my goal. That was my goal when I was in high school. So, you know, I had to kind of, you know, in high school, they teach you backwards mapping. Oh, yeah, making like, like, a goal and working backwards. Working backwards, exactly. I did like, how do I get to, so what is Silicon Valley about? How do I get Silicon Valley? Silicon Valley is the top tech company in the world. So how do I get there? So I started backwards mapping, backwards mapping all the way to the degree portion. What kind of degree, degree do I have to get? What is degree a degree that will diversify me and that will set me apart from other people and give me versatility within that, within where I'm trying to get to. And I tracked all that down and it was IT. Yeah. So is that still your goal? Are you going to try to get a job for working for uh, Well, I ain't going to lie. That's still, that, that's still my goal. This work in Silicon Valley is still my goal. Uh, not much has changed. You know, I love, I mean, top tech, top tech capital of the world, man. Like, like even it's crazy because, uh, Microsoft, uh, the chief technology officer for Microsoft, she has an IT management master's degree. It just shows you that I'm in the right, like I have the right degree. Now it's about getting into those doors. And so like, is your kind of your career plan, I guess, is to get into cybersecurity, do you plan to like hop some jobs not in cyber and not Silicon Valley beforehand to kind of work I mean, on that or you could hope maybe get a job right, right off the bat there? I mean, I, I look you want a job uh, right now, but you know, if I have to do a cybersecurity certification and then let's say I get, 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 a, get a cybersecurity certification, then once I get cybersecurity certification, if a cybersecurity job comes calling and want me to be cybersecurity for a top company, why would I turn that down? Like, I'm not going to turn yeah. that down. You know, so, you know, it's just it's cybersecurity on top of having an IT master's, that's going to be put me in a class of my own. Even though right yeah. now I do feel like I'm in a class of my own, but having that certification will put me in like, he has an IT education and he got a cybersecurity certification. That makes me stand out. You know, I'm not too big on a doctorate talk. I don't want a doctorate. I want a certification. Yeah, I guess a doctorate might be impressive, but it's not always. Yeah, it's not. You don't always get them for, for financial. It's not always for financial motivation. Exactly. And I, I barely completed my master's. I don't got time for the doctorate. And then what kind of certifications you keep saying? I, uh, I Security certifications is kind of a, a lot of, I would say, pretty good ones out there. What ones are you aiming for? I mean, I've seen a lot of cybersecurity certifications, but like me, I have to start at the bottom you know what i'm saying so in order to get those other certifications that you're probably talking about you have to you can't move on without getting the first one i think that'll be comp tia plus or something like that comp tia plus i'm like so that's like the bot like the basic level then once i get that one i can get in, i can get to the next one but i can't just go through and choose you know what i'm saying i have to start at the yeah uh, yeah i, I kind of took that whole that whole path upwards like a plus whatever that was that was what WG did. If I'm not mistaken, not that it's necessarily that I recommend it. Um, you may be able to just get Security Plus. Like you may, they may allow you to study for it and pass it. I'll look that up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that some certifications you can just take the test. To be honest, uh -huh. I wouldn't mind. Doing, I wouldn't mind doing it that way. I mean, either way, it would probably look a little more impressive if you got all of them up to that, and you'd also get a lot of stackable certifications. Yeah. I just take more time. Yeah, for someone going to WG, which have it, which I mean, would you be advised for doing well or accelerating or I whatever? Say, like, like with me, like I had a goal of I was told my advisor every I only do only complete one class a month, mm -hmm. and some months I did, I completed two classes a month, and that really uh and I would be my. Basically, what I'm saying is going with a with a with a strict plan to help hold yourself accountable. Because if I would have completed one class a month, I would have ended up finishing in September. But I was so locked in and focused that I was able to complete two classes a month twice, and I was able to push and I was able to move back and complete in July. So I would say, if you want to go to WGU, have a a date you want to finish and stick to that and stay locked in. I originally hoped to get the entire degree in six months. Um, well, was really how, many how many classes did you take? Um, I want to say 36. I, I did 36 classes. 
Yeah, I didn't really transfer anything in. I didn't get it done in six months. Um, it took me a year and a half. I, I but I really tried really hard to meet to finish about every term that I in. I wanted to finish that term. Yeah, yeah. It's just like for me, I hated like I, I didn't want to. I didn't. I didn't want to spend so like like it was. It was like I didn't want to spend that because you know you got as many you got you got six months to complete as many classes you as you could. Like it took me my first six months. I I like I took eleven classes. So to complete my master's, so um, the first six months I completed eight classes. So I only had three. Wow. Three. I had three classes. I had three. I had six. I, so when I started my new term, I had three months to finish. I mean, six months to finish three classes. So it worked out in my favor, but it was stressful. Uh, definitely. Yeah, as I said, it's, it was it was stressful. I did get I did I did get it done kind of quickly, but that didn't mean it wasn't hard in the short time that it'd take. Exactly. And I just looked up on the site and uh, the program consists of 34 courses and I think I did one math course just like a month before and then one certification, Google Plus certification I had to get to get in, also kind of for a course. So in college in that year and a half I think I did uh, 32 courses. Well thank you man, I really appreciate taking the time, taking the time yeah. to, to this interview. And no problem, man. No problem. I enjoyed it.